what is going on ladies and gentlemen it is just score here bringing you another black ops 2 gameplay and um, this gameplay is on multi-team kill confirmed uh, I was playing with my good friend Shabagel and we was camping on this map the game before and you see that guy camping there he was really mad at us uh, saying that we're pieces of crap and all that great stuff and he was camping he, he was pretty bad look how bad these guys are one two I got both of them nice job there by me with the R Remington 870 MCS uh, really good weapon but Basically, I'm just putting gameplay on here so I can talk about some other Call of Duty news. Now, if you've been following Call of Duty Ghost any, the new Call of Duty coming out next, um, there has been some news going around. Uh, woke up a couple of days ago, looked on Twitter and YouTube, and found out that there was this interview, uh, and like an Australian interview place who interview game developers and there was the Call of Duty Ghost uh, multiplayer developer guy and they was asking him about aim assist which is a really big topic in Call of Duty especially if you get into the snipers and other guns really I mean any gun all guns have aim assist and they was talking about all that um, and a point came up the developer said that in Call of Duty Ghost, there will be no more quick scoping. Now, this came as a huge shock to me, and it's probably coming as a huge shock to you all guys. Um, as we know, uh, they've made the Modern Warfare series, and it seemed that Infinity Ward uh, has kind of been leaning towards the sniper side of things until Call of Duty Black Ops 2. As we all know, uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 was both really easy sniping games, especially Modern Warfare 2. Uh, so, Infinity Ward has been leaning to the side of snipers for quite a while now, and Black Ops 2 is really easy to snipe in now, but for them to take it completely out, now, I'm not saying it's going to be completely out, because if you've seen any of the like Call of Duty Ghost a multiplayer gameplays by the YouTubers who went out there to uh, play it on the gameplay reveal they got some footage and posted it and it kindly came as a surprise to me because especially since they've been the uh, sniper friendly games for such a such a long time now and when they said they was taking it out of the game huge shock but their opinion of quick scoping might be a little different because as we've seen in that uh, gameplay, it looked like you could still quick scope some. Now the difficulty in this, if that's a word, uh, may have changed. A lot of people were saying that when you go ADS, there's like a certain point where you have to look down the scope before you can like shoot or shoot accurate. So, it's not going to be quick scoping, it still might be change, uh, like abusing the aim assist, which is really what most people argue about when they're talking about quick scoping and how they shouldn't be in the game. But there is, there seems to be a sway and there, a lot of uh, speculations, a lot of YouTubers have said there is a sway when you aim down sights and that's kind of what the developer uh, said in this interview now completely out of the game uh, I think it was a very poor word choice for the developers half sure it's gonna be in the game it's just not gonna be as prevalent as it has been in the past Call of Duties now when essentially what they're doing in my opinion I'm I'm kindly uh, sniper friendly. I say, yeah, it should be in the game, but quick scoping, eh? Snipe. There's a difference in sniping and quick scoping because really quick scoping 
there's a certain amount of skill there, but it's abusing the system of the way the game works. So, to me, when they're taking out quick scoping, it seems like they're taking out a play style. And what I mean by that is, if you are, if you drop shot or jump shot, and that's in your play style, and you probably rely on it sometimes in certain certain situations and in your class setups. If they took it out of the game, drop shotting and jump shotting, which some people have said there should be, took it out of the game. But I don't think so. I think it's complete. It's not abusing the aim assist. It's not doing anything like that. You still have to aim when you do this. But that's taking out a play style, a certain play style that you have developed for the game. Um, when you take it out, it's just like eliminating part of the people who play Call of Duty. So there's a huge sniper community, huge quick scoping community, and when you take this out, what is going to happen to that community? Are they going to come back and just? Um, act like nothing happened because the last patch the last thing they done with um, snipers didn't go too well one two I got a break for this that sniper is bad and I got the three piece right there but the last time David Vonderhart man he got some death threats when he patched the DSR and the ballista I mean that didn't go over well so it, if you take it completely out of the game like Infinity Ward, uh, the new Call of Duty Ghost team, I think maybe Raven's working on it, um, some too, the multiplayer. Not for sure, so don't quote me on that. But when they're taking it completely out of the game, are these guys still gonna buy the game in general? Because I know if that's kinda. Okay, let's say you play a basketball game and you sh like go with the inside pass a lot like you know in NBA 2k13 you can get a good pass off in the inside really easy I should have got four there but that's a really easy pass to make and if they took that completely out of the game I probably wouldn't play it as much because it's really difficult drop shot one drop shot two relying on the drop shot when they take that out of the game, it's taking out my playstyle, and why would I want to play something that my playstyle doesn't fit with? So, I'm thinking, I really don't think it's going to gain any people coming into Call of Duty, just that aspect, because most of the people who want it out of the game is people who are already playing the game, uh, taking it competitively, uh, seriously, in some ways. So, and the people who just coming in like learning new things about it, of course. So, I think this is a bad move if they're just wanting to make money off of it. And I think they should be fixing these spawns before they start taking out quick scoping because that is just a dead awful spawn. And another guy spawns over there. It worked out for me, but that could have went really bad there. So, I think they're gonna lose some people by making this decision in my opinion I, I think they will so let me know what you think um, I'm definitely looking forward to Call of Duty Ghost uh, I'm not ex too thrilled over this news I'm sure quick scoping in some way is gonna be still in the game it's not gonna be terrible so I think it won't affect it as bad as what people are making it out to be it's definitely gonna cause some frustration to the snipers that we have in our com sniper communities now so we might lose some players but I think all in all this is gonna be a great game uh, that one snowy map looks amazing so I'm gonna really enjoy that but I hope you enjoyed this I thought I'd let you know about the new uh, news that's been coming in out uh, I know Call of Duty Ghost is the next Call of Duty and everybody will enjoy it. Uh, 43 19. Bye, guys.